think his dad taught him pretty good dedication, you know, and he's been pretty pretty firm with him on being something and doing the best that you can do, whatever it is that you're trying to conquer. What do you think? Has it been a journey? Yeah, man, it's been a journey. The journey is a lot of stuff. Yeah, the stuff. journey is coming to the big movement now. This is my barber shop. Uh, I've been coming here since I was 11. My dad, um, my dad's known the barber for a long time, but he was uh, too stubborn to let someone else cut my hair. Cut me and my brother's hair. So he finally let us start coming to him. And, What's up? The sun is shining so hard. Oh, really? Yeah. Since he was a little guy, I've always known that something was going to come out of it because they were just so dedicated to whatever it was that they'd done. We were at E-Line Soccer Park. And this is a uh, where I first played a competitive uh, refereed game, uh, soccer. So, um, we, I mean, we played everything, though. Know? Like, I played baseball one year. I had track was another thing we did. Uh, we, we ran track, obviously football, and basketball. Soccer was, and it, it ended up being my favorite sport, and it was my dad's favorite sport, too. But, yeah, that was, that was probably the first exposure to sports. You know, we wanted them to do other things to have that to fall back on as well as their, their academics too. So we knew that um, being in Milwaukee, a lot of opportunities for the kids to do other things as well. We played soccer until he decided he wasn't going to play anymore. Then he got to his 11th grade. Now he wanted to play football. The skill he learned from soccer, from basketball, he put everything together, his hands, his feet. He was a little bit smaller then. So they put him on a special team and following year he played a on the back and he proved himself. He had a few colleges that were looking at him for like football, but um, he really was looking at Wisconsin, you know. The opportunity came going into the season. Um, someone on the team had gotten hurt and there was only 104 players in camp. A couple phone calls, I sent my film and um, I got lucky enough to get in, get in the camp. I was the 105th guy in the 105-man camp roster. I did not believe that he was actually on the team until I shook up Billy Man's hands. And I'm like, he said, oh, we've been waiting for him. I'm like, for Dari? He said, yeah, yeah, and, okay. I didn't expect to be playing in this capacity now. I mean, the, the coaches wanted to move someone to running back out of necessity. The wide receivers coach was like, yeah, I mean, he always makes the defensive backs miss. He might be a good guy for the job, at least temporarily. Coach came to me, asked about it. I was just shocked. I mean, you just always want to take advantage of the opportunities, and there's a reason that they're asking me to do it. So um, I did it, and it, it, it worked out. But yeah, it took, it took a while to get used to uh, carrying the ball. So the first carry I got, I, I, I thought for sure I was scoring. I, the hole opened up wide. Was, I, I don't even know how it was so wide. It was just me and the safety. I think I tried to spin. And then looking back at the film, like I mean, now I know I would have made a miss. But at the time, I just I had no idea what to do. I'm like, wow, this is actually happening. And, I, and it happened, and I got tackled. As he started playing the position more, I really started noticing him and things that he can do, you know, with the football, whereas being a defensive back, he wasn't able to show his talents as much. But when he became a running back, he was able to really open up and we can actually see. I mean, scoring in Camp Randall for the first time after being a kid growing up, watching Wisconsin games and actually scoring, and uh, it was an exciting time, it was an exciting time. End of the season, he said, who knew that it was going to be our main guy? You know, he said, wasn't it a year ago we are saying we don't know if he's going to be the third running back or how we're going to use him? Who knew that it was? So it's, 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 it's been a blessed time. I guess I was just always a Packer fan because my dad, as soon as he came to Milwaukee, I'm from Nigeria, and he did didn't really know much about football, but he learned it quickly. And he was, he, I mean, he's a huge Packer. He's a bigger Packer fan than me. I just loved football at the time, and it was very physical. Uh, so we look forward to uh, watching the game together. It was a kind of a celebration the Packers are playing. We bought the uh, TV set and the surround sound. 
just to watch football. I've been to numerous football Packer games at Lambeau, but um, actually playing there, and it's going to be awesome. It's going to be a fun experience for us, especially for me being from Wisconsin and being such a big Packer fan. So I'm looking forward to it, but if I score, I'm going to try not to Lambeau leap so we don't uh, get any penalties or anything, but I don't know if I can make a promise to Coach Chris, so <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Thank you.